Hey babes, welcome back to the channel. So we're back today with a new video and today I'm featuring Ashy Mary hair. Big thank you to Ashy Mary for sponsoring today's video. So let's jump into this look. So this is the box that my wig came in. We're going to go through the contents of the box first. They loaded this package with goodies so you know I got to show y'all everything in here. They gave me so many goodies. I love these bobby pins they gave me some cute strip lashes I have hd wig caps I have a melt band with the ear cushions i have a little brochure which tells you a little bit about the wig this is a bonnet these are the halloween goodies which were super cute some clips and bows i also got a scrunchie i have some lace tape and i have some replacements for the elastic strap in case you need to replace it so this is the wig itself she's 250 density and she is a 360 skin like lace wig this is in the kinky straight texture with kinky edges so this wig was super full and pretty upon receiving it is ready to go as you can see it's pre-plugged this is what the inside of the cap looks like it comes with a removable elastic band which has the silicone grip you can remove this or adjust the size the combs are also removable this next part pay attention the comb in the nape area that's the one that you use to slide under your wig cap and then you do this you adjust those strings and that's it once you adjust those strings you tuck the strings under your lace and you are good to go so here I'm just going to press out these edges this is just something I do with this style wig I'm not a fan of the way they come but I do like how they look once they're pressed into the hairline so the difference is the hair is shorter it's not as kinky once I press it out but the hair is still short so it gives more of like a natural edge it kind of gives broken off edges a little bit. I'm not even going to hold you. But it kind of gives natural at the same time. So if you want to do any additional plucking, I would suggest to do it on a mannequin dome head. And here we're ready to put her on. So I put the wig on and I'm going to melt this baby down. But here I am just sticking that comb under my cap. And then I am going to adjust these straps. One, just like that. And then I'm going to tuck that and conceal it in the back boom and I'm going to do the same on the other side and that is it for putting this wig on but now I'm going to cut ear tabs because this is a pre-cut lace except the ear tabs are not cut so you do need to cut that to your liking and then I will go in with my ORS wig grip and lay her down So this is my favorite, my current favorite wig adhesive to use because you can remove this with water. For those of you that are new here, I typically do not sleep in my wig unit. So in order for me to take it off every night, it's better for me to use something that I can wash off or remove with water or a little bit of oil. So I'm going to tap that into the lace and I'm using my rat tail comb and I'm pressing it down and I'm using a handheld fan to dry it down so I am going to do this across the front and on both sides as you can see here and I'm gonna make sure that it is down and it is adhered pretty well before I move in and put the edge band on So with this lace, I would suggest spraying under the lace as well as on top because I did have to go back and do that a little later. But I'm just showing you what this is looking like so far. We are putting the bands on now. So now I'm going to use the brush and do the brush chase method with the flat iron. I am pressing this hair out. This hair is a lot of hair, 250 density. Okay. And with it in the natural texture, it's like 300 density, but I'm not complaining. So I'm going to press this out. Remember, this is 26 inches, so she's super long. I'm using my Hot Tools flat iron. I love this flat iron. This is like my OG flat iron right now. I've had this for, I think, the past two, three, 
maybe four years oh my god time is flying but i love this flat iron it's bomb it's digital and you can adjust the temperature settings so this is what it looks like once it's all pressed out super pretty i love the luster the body there's still a few crimps in here i mean i didn't flat iron it on the highest setting but it looks really good this does the job for me so here i'm going to reapply some spray because it got, did get some lifting on the side so before I go in with my styling, I wanted to fix that. So for the styling, I'm going to show you what this looks like in a regular center part. We are doing no baby hairs with this. I typically don't do baby hairs with kinky straight. I don't know. I don't. So I'm going to show you what this looks like in a regular middle part. And then I will go into a variety of up tools. Because you know I love to. But this was really, really fun to install. This is a softer kinky straight texture i've worked with a lot of kinky straight textures and some are a little more coarse than others this was on the softest side which means you're going to get a nice press and if you wanted to achieve like a silk press look you definitely could with this texture here So this is what it looks like from the back. I'm just cleaning up the sheen from the spray and I'm going to clean up my part with some lace concealer. And that is it for the first look. And she is bomb. So next we're going on to the second look. I am going to braid the two sections that I parted off in the front of my hair. And I'm just going to pull this back. And so it's going to be like two braids pulled back and the rest is going to be out. And then I will move on and turn this into like a two braids with a ponytail. I love this, especially with this texture. This is like a go-to style for kinky straight because this is like really nice for the workplace, school. It's very cute, but still professional. So I like that. That's what this looks like from behind. Super pretty. Now I'm going to brush everything up into a ponytail and show you what that looks like. So once I put that into a ponytail, I'm going to use those bobby pins that Ashley Mary provided us with. And I'm going to clip those braids. I'm going to pin those braids in the nape and then up under the ponytail Ooh, i love the way this came out and then i'm just going to take the ponytail and wrap it into a bun and that's the bun which i thought was really cute and then i'm going to remove those two braids in the front and turn that into a split bang and then i'm going to add some curls with the flat iron and honestly that was my favorite so those two pieces, I'm going to braid those and I'm going to pin those to the back for now. Do the same thing on the other side, braid it and pin it to the back. Now that everything is pinned in place, I'm going to curl those pieces. 
So I used a flat iron and I curled those two bang pieces. And then those pieces that are hanging in the back and in the nape area, I'm going to curl those. And it looks so much better curled in the nape area because those pieces hanging straight, it kind of look ridiculous. But once I curled it up, it was very, very cute. So, uh, gotta make you understand, Alright, so those are the front pieces and now I'm doing those pieces that I pinned up and I'm adding some more bobby pins in the front because I thought the gold was just so cute. And that is the last style and that is it for this look. Big thank you to Ashley Mary here for sponsoring today's video. I will have all the details down in the description box. If you have any questions, let me know. I do have an Ashley Mary playlist along with other kinky straight wigs that I have tried from this company. And yeah, let me know what you guys think about this hairstyle down below and this skin like 360 lace wig. But until next time, I will see you beauties in the next video. Bye.